Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, great to see you, everybody. Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, Art and I are with our favorite boomer philosopher, Bill Jordan. <laughs> Hey, you Bill. guys are just so nice to me about the the philosopher thing. I, I've, I've, no one has ever called me philosopher except for you two guys, and I've, I, I wear that <laughs> moniker with pride from you guys. I truly it's, do. It's you about your uh, practices. You, you keep those you keep those checks coming in. We, we <laughs> can say all sorts of nice things. But well, you know, you know I, if if people would keep checks coming in to me, that would be helpful. Yeah. Speaking now of that's nice, speaking of nice. Um, <laughs> The reason I like to speak to you guys is that sometimes you're naughty and sometimes you're nice. And that brings me to the thought of being a kid again. What do you think, Bill Jordan, philosopher? Well, you know, again, with holidays and stuff, you know, gosh, isn't it, isn't it true that, you know, you can't wait for Christmas as you're a kid and you're opening up the presents, maybe even sneak around the house and you're looking for stuff that's stowed away now as an adult, I hide presents, can't remember where I hid them. And then, you know, come July, I'll hand my wife a punch bowl and say, Merry, Merry Christmas. <laughs> that's that's happened before. You know, I'm cleaning out a closet. Oh, this is where that went. Um, the, the thing about the holidays and and for me, a, a really crystal clear memory in my mind. I told we told our my dad when we were expecting our daughter, Jessica, told him that, you know, Marianne was pregnant and we're going to baby. And the first thing he said was, that's great. You get to grow up all over again. Oh, that's good. Because it, it, when I think about my own life, you know, when you're a kid and you're at home and yeah, it's Christmas and you open up the presents. And I remember the year I got my bicycle and I got these like rabbit fur lined leather gloves and I was on that bicycle and I was Steve McQueen from the great escape in my neighborhood. I just got <laughs> on that man. I was, you know, so you have that excitement as a kid and then you get into maybe your mid to late teens and early twenties. And I was already in radio and I was kind of I was living by myself. I had like, I was near a cousin, but not really anything, but I was working on Christmas day and the, the cachet or the allure of Christmas kind of went away. And then you get married and you have kids and you indeed do live it all over again. You experience it all over again through the eyes of your of your children. I just think it's fantastic. And as far as the holidays go themselves, I mean, Christmas is great. And it took me, I don't know how many number of years to realize that, yeah, I would rather, it does feel better to me. Gift that's really you really knock it out of the park with a gift or you surprise somebody and they love that gift i do enjoy that better than getting it i never could believe that concept when i was a kid that to give is better than to receive now i totally get it i love surprising people with something that they would really really enjoy but of the holidays my favorite is thanksgiving um you know there's no pressure of gifts there's no Am I acting appropriately surprised or thankful for this gift? And I'm, I appreciate them all, but it's like that. Just Thanksgiving, it's just it's like it's family, and it's a reminder to be grateful. And there's a lot of food, and there's a little football, and just for whatever reason, as I've gotten older, Thanksgiving to me is the holiday to the point of where I no longer send out Christmas cards. I send out Thanksgiving cards. Oh, that's mm. interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Now, how do you feel about New Year's? New Year's is sort of, you know, it's a date on the calendar. I remember telling my dad, you know, something I was going to change, or, you know, New Year's resolution or something like that. And he was, I mean, totally serious. You know, one of the greatest generations was just like, if you want to make a change, make it. There's nothing magical about the date. And I think we've talked about that here, too. Sure. Hey, yeah. But it, but there is a, at least a, a subconscious or maybe even a little above subconscious notation of okay it is a new start and you're trying to make some new decisions maybe or take a different path eliminate uh some things maybe add some things i'm more into eliminating now yeah now but as a as a an adult has your attitude towards new year's changed the way uh, let's say the way it oh, has with christmas um Maybe so. I mean, it used to be kind of a big deal if we stayed up till midnight. Now it's like, okay, it's midnight and we're here at the house. If we're with friends, that's great too. But 
it's okay if we're here at the house and if we fall asleep at 11 o'clock, we fall asleep. <laughs> it's not that big a deal to watch the ball drop. Um, you know, um, yeah. it it isn't a quote holiday to yeah, me. Yeah, I have to, I have to agree with you on that one, Bill. Uh, my wife and I watch the ball drop at nine o'clock because we're on the West Coast. Yeah, and you yeah. know, if we decide that we wanted to really make it to the the year, fine. If not, you know, the date will change on the car calendar uh, automatically and on our iPhones. So, uh, oh, there was a plug to Apple. We have to do something for Android. But in any event, uh, yeah. But I think I think that maybe um, uh, uh, the next time we come around, you want to figure out a way that uh, a reason that we should make resolutions not on New Year's, but perhaps on Thanksgiving, our your favorite holiday, and quite frankly, one of mine. So maybe oh, yeah, it's not a, a new trend. Not a bad thing. The main the main thing, of course, of that you know that is that attitude of gratitude, which is my embrace the boom boom practice number one is an attitude of gratitude. So. A lot of people on social media will take the entire month of November and each day tick off something that they are thankful for. And that's not a that's not a bad way to go. Cool. So, John, you went a little quiet there in your, your I'm, I'm corner of the world. Stuck, I'm still stuck at the kid stage. Oh, he wants a, he wants a <laughs> present now. Holidays. He wants a present now. OK, <laughs> you know, offline, Bill, you and I can talk about what we're not getting, John. OK. <laughs> I'm not getting John everything. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, you know, that's what I was not going to get him. Well, John, what uh, what do you what do you think as far as like with Christmas? Are you still well, I, all wrapped up about the in in Christmas? To me, it's giving of the gifts and watching my grandkids. It, it is, and and you got me thinking about the different attitudes between uh, when I was a kid, um, a kid, let's say up to sixteen. And today, um, and even m more so today, because I'm much older, but as an adult with kids, certainly once you have kids, you're absolutely right. Gift-giving holidays like Christmas are completely different. Um, they're about the giving, not the receiving. The joy comes from watching the kids have fun. Yep. Yep. And today, that's true with Halloween, too. I, my my uh, kids are, some of my kids are 50, some of them are younger, but the not much younger, and <laughs> they're get, they're still dressing up for Halloween, you know, and going out with the kids and going to adult parties, uh, right. costume parties. Um, I, I'm long past that. I'm 30, 40 years past that. So I don't know. Some of the New Year's, I'm with you guys, Art and I, we're on the West Coast, so we can watch the ball drop at 9 p.m. Yeah, and, and you're done. The, the reason we moved here, actually. The sole yeah. reason we moved here. There are other benefits, but that was the reason. Yeah. Well, it's almost like a little take on the Jimmy Buffett song. It's five o'clock somewhere for you guys. Hey, it's midnight somewhere. I'm going <laughs> yeah. to bed. Yeah, going to bed. Actually, nine o'clock now that I think about it, it's a little late. We don't stay up for that. <laughs> no, but it, you know, it's it's interesting because you you still feel um, childlike joy and childlike reverence maybe for some of these holidays but you're nowhere near being a child right so. it's yeah it, it's different traditions you're yeah you're and I, I agree with you but one of the, one of the things that you said there's a lot of truth in in all of this conversation but it's the enjoyment that uh we get to see on our particularly our grandchildren's faces yeah, yeah. uh that uh is uh did we ever react that way with surprise and glee or or sadness because it was a blue one instead of a red one, <laughs> right. whatever it happens. Well, you know, another another way to look at it, and I remind some of my younger friends who have, uh, you know, younger kids. When I I'm mentioned about my dad saying, you know, being excited because you get to grow up all over again. Then you also realize what your parents felt watching you. Mm. Yeah. And I had never had that perspective before until now that we had our daughter and now grandkids. It's like, so now I'm at the age when I was this age, my dad was the age I am now. And this is what he was feeling, probably, yeah. you know, watching the grandkids. So that's a, I don't know, that's just that sort of continuum through the generations that I hope just keeps going, well, you know? Well, well, I think that's I, a I wonderful... Think, no, 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 I'd like to say that, that uh, the holidays are coming up. We're getting ready to embrace the holidays perhaps in a different way. And that leads, in, to me, 
that leads into something new that I find out about the holiday season and every day of the year, which is that now in our stage, we learned how to embrace the holidays and to embrace the boom. Oh, John, was that not one of the smoothest segues you ever heard? To a that was the plug. smoothest. Very good. Yeah. So basically, Embrace the Boom is for my fellow baby boomer generation, reminding you to live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. Grab all the gusto you can, as they say. So, guys, thanks for having me back again. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yeah. We'll see you soon, Bill. Okay. If we, if we survive the holidays. We'll make it. We'll make it. See you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.